Hello everybody, Yelsa Farmer here and welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm a gamer, 45 year old gamer. Uh, I play Farming Simulator 19, both on PS4 and on PC. Uh, my PC is a little bit cheap Charlie PC and yesterday actually I experienced some lagging in my game. Uh, I had some really good help from you guys, uh, my viewers and subscribers. I want to give a big shout out to Evil Clown, uh, Gorspor, Jason Donnelly. Man, Jason, you're the man. <laughs> you're just gonna love, love this guy. So, they actually advised me to upgrade my uh, memory on my PC. Uh, now I have 8 GB of memory, RAM. Um, my processor is uh, Intel i5, uh, so it's a little bit slow here and there, and as I said yesterday, I was experiencing some lagging. So what I'm going to do today, hopefully, I I'm going to record this in different stages, and but I'm going to show you how it looks now. Uh, maybe I'll show a video clip when I'm changing out the boards without getting electrocuted. <laughs> And then we're gonna look at how the PC and gaming will be after installing the 16 gigabyte RAM, if I can get my hands on one. And again, Jason Donnelly, big shout out to you. Uh, he donated a lot of money yesterday, so I'm gonna go down to the shop down here. It's five minutes to to walk, and I've checked already. They have in stock 16 gigabyte. Uh, but let's jump into this guy here, and here we can see, oh yeah, there we go, uh, here we can see the specification, so to speak, uh, I have here, you can see, uh, Intel Core i5-6400 CPU, 2.7 GHz, doesn't say me anything. <laughs> But installed RAM is 8 GB and also on the top corner here you can see the same specifications. Uh, now I'm only running OBS Studio and you can see the processor is working nice and quiet at 30%. The memory is up to 44%. So I'm using half of the memory just by running the OBS Studio. And usually when I'm doing live streaming, I also have YouTube, my live stream up. Uh, I also have the game, of course. Uh, so what I experienced yesterday was that the memory was peaking a lot, but the processor was up to 90, 100%. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Uh, this is the, uh, I have the NVIDIA GeForce uh, 1070, there we go, GTX 1070 graphic card. I've been told that's pretty good, uh, it's good enough for this game. Uh, but this one I'm going to change. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to stop recording now, I'm going to fire up the game, I'm going to fire up YouTube. Uh, watch a video maybe uh, and we'll see how <laughs> my cheap Charlie PC <laughs> will handle it and yeah we'll take it from there so there we go now I've started up the game I've uh, just started up uh, some music playing in the background it's not the music that you're hearing uh, I've turned off the music but I have a YouTube uh, video uh, with music running like normal, I would do the live stream. So I have two screens now running. I have the game running. And yeah, we can just jump in now and see. Let's see if I do like so. And so. Um, now you can see it's a different story. You can see memory now is up to 84%. Uh, the processor are up to 80%. And right now I'm not doing anything in the game. Uh, I just uh, opened the game, so it's you see it's <laughs> it's really working hard. 
the the graphic card is at 50 percent i think so i think that is within yeah but memory and processor are working really hard and as i said um uh, or if i've mentioned uh, farming simulator 22 is soon coming out and that is a higher demanding game so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna just put the worker on this guy here uh, i don't know if you can see but it is lagging it is stopping up a little bit here and there and let's see if i go in here now the worker will still work and uh, let's jump into here now you can see the processor are really working hard it's peaking up to you know 90 percent 100 percent all the time <laughs> uh, the, even though the memory actually went down a little bit when i started the tractor but the processor yeah peaking up to 95 100 percent um so this is the issue i have gpu uh down to 30 percent that also changed actually it went down hmm. yeah so um this is the thing i want to fix let's see if it uh, you know makes any difference when I change to a uh, 16 gigabyte memory here uh, <laughs> so <laughs> this guy here uh, you know it's oh now it's really lagging why isn't he spreading any lime <laughs> you're fired buddy Oh, it's only doing one field because I have plowed in between. That's the reason. But yeah, it's lagging a lot. I did open up another map yesterday and it didn't lag that much there. Uh, somebody in chat said that it could be uh, my map. Um, oh, everything is just stopping up here now. Uh oh man uh let's see i i do have uh some <laughs> yeah, i cannot play like this <laughs> i do have some factories here and whoa you know i'm walking all the time but it's stopping uh it could be that all the pallets are the, the brown water and the black water and the <laughs> This factory here, it could be those factories that are lagging because on my other map it was not lagging at all. But you know, I want to have the ability and I want to have some smooth playing when I'm doing uh, FS22 in just a couple of months. So yeah, I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, unplug the computer now uh take everything off i'm gonna jump down to the store get my hands on a couple of i think i need two to eight gigabytes i saw some videos you can buy also one gigabyte well one slot of 16 gigabyte but all the guys i saw uh, recommend to have two one each of eight gigabytes i don't know how it looks inside my computer <laughs> i never opened up a computer before so it's either a big catastrophe or it's gonna work so uh, yeah I'll uh, jump in it and I guess I'll see you in a bit so here we go here's a farmer doing things that he don't know how to do I got my computer I got this one today, this is called the HyperX Fury DDR4, it's two slots or two 8GB RAM, so now I will get from 8GB to 16GB, hopefully, 
So next thing will be now, I'm a little bit afraid about the electric shock. So I'm gonna keep one hand on touching the, the cabinet all time. Thanks to you guys for tipping me about that. And uh, yeah, let's try to open it up and see how it looks inside. So this is how my computer looks inside. And the only thing I can think of is being you know, um, memory cards are these two here, and it's difficult to tell, but it does say four gigabyte on them. Uh, so hopefully I can get them out. I think I need to press those white clips there, and then hopefully these guys here will uh, fit in. Um, so yeah, let's see. I need to have my arm on the, <laughs> on the thing here and maybe to press this one oh, that's a tough one and i need to press the other one oh you know what i'm gonna do this outside camera so uh, i got it out at least one of them uh, this is how it looks it looks a little bit uh, cheap charlie compared to the new one it says uh, Samsung made in China 4 gigabyte 2133 so I guess that's the megahertz speed and there is a small slot in the middle here and compared to my new one and this one the HyperX which looks much better <laughs> uh, the slots in the middle seems to be working or seems to be the same so now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out the other one and I'm gonna put in this guy and let's see if it works. So now you can see my HyperX uh, new <laughs> RAM modules are in the place. They, they fit it really nice. Uh, they clicked into place. These are the old ones. Uh, so now, of course, the big question is, when I fire up the computer, um, will it work? Will I have 16 gigabyte of RAM? <laughs> That's the next question. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump over to the computer when I've started it up. So, I'm back here in my office. I literally just plugged in my PC, connected all the USBs, the camera, the headset, everything, and I just started it up. Uh, it seems to be working pretty good. I didn't get any electrical shock. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> let's jump in and look at the uh, graphics, so to speak. Um, so, if you see here now, this is the CPU. I only have OBS Studio running, which I had before also. So do I see any changes here? Well, not that much actually. It's the same around 30 to 35 uh, percent. But what I see is when I jump into here, into memory. If you see on the top right corner now, I have 16 gigabyte. It is using the same amount, 3.8 gigabyte. That's more or less the same as before. Uh, OBS Studio, but now I have you know 12 gigabytes uh, available. So yeah, all the other guys are the same, but yeah, now I have 16 gigabytes, <laughs> which is pretty neat. <laughs> the only concern I have is of course the uh, the CPU, which is seems to be working the same amount. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fire up the game. And we're gonna see how it looks then. So now I have filed up the game. I'm at the exact same place. So let's uh, jump over here. And here we are. Let's fire up this guy. And see if we see any difference in lagging. It seems to be running actually more smooth now. I don't experience any lagging, a little bit, but not that much as it used to. So that's good news, isn't it? 
Let's put on the lime. Let's put the worker on it. And yeah, it is a little bit. But now it would be really interesting to see um, this guy here. Oh yeah. I don't know what you see. Yeah, you see it. It's still... Well, it's lower. It's down to between 70, 70 to 80%. Uh, oh, there we got a peak of 100. So yeah. Maybe it helped a little bit. I think maybe it also has to do something with that map and some mods that I have installed. Uh, the memory, as you can see, is flat on 6.4 GB and I still got 9 GB available. So that has improved. So maybe also it will improve ordinary, you know, internet uh, connection or I don't know. So yeah, but the processor... Uh, got a little bit better, a little bit a notch better actually. I've written down some numbers there, and I before with 8 gigabyte RAM, the processor was working at uh, between 90 and 95 percent, and now you can see it's on average down to 80 percent maybe. So yeah, it did help. It did help. So, yeah, maybe uh, I'm going to keep it like this. I'm not going to touch anything more now. <laughs> so, there you go. So, with that said, that was my uh, upgrade of the memory on my PC today. From 8 to 16 gigabyte. And let's see if we go do like so. Uh, I just want to... Uh, thank everybody that helped me out with this. Uh, Gorspor, uh, Evil Clown, Jason Donnelly, and there were a couple of others also. A big shout out to you guys. And hopefully this will improve a little bit on my PC gaming. And yeah, thanks for watching. And hit that like button if you like what you see. If you have any more tip on how to maybe improve the CPU. I did ask a guy in the shop, but then he said, oh, you need to have some special glue and something to change the CPU. So I said, no, <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> but at least I upgraded my PC with, you know, I'm a sailor. I'm not the computer guy at all. So everybody can do this. And yeah, there we go. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.